See, my mom wouldn't go to bed until she knew her son was still alive. I'd walk in, she'd say, hi, Mark, how was your night? I go, it was good, Mom, I'm just going to go to bed. She goes, can I, can I talk to you for a minute? I go, Mom, I'm tired, I'm just going to go to bed. She goes, Mark, I haven't seen you all day and all night. Can I please talk to you? I said, man, just leave me alone. You bug me. I'd slam my bedroom door on the one person who believed in me. I was on a worldwide tour and we were wrestling overseas in Japan. After my wrestling match, I went upstairs in my hotel room and I fell asleep. There was a knock at my door at three o'clock in the morning. I got out of bed and I looked through the safety window and I could see it was a Japanese promoter. So I opened the door and he said, Mark, you need to call home. There's been an emergency. I went and got on the hotel room phone. I called back to the United States and said, hey, what's going on? They said, Mark, I don't know how to tell you this. I said, just tell me what happened. All of a sudden they started crying. They go, Mark, I can't tell you. I said, just say it. They said, Mark, your mother died. And I remember looking up and just saying, Mom, I am so sorry. I flew home for her funeral and I was so nervous to walk up to her casket. So I just stood way in the back. And I kept looking from a distance. I kept thinking to myself, Mom, please wake up. Please get up. And then I finally got the nerve to walk up to her. And as I got closer, I could see my mom for the first time. I mean, she was so beautiful. She, she was dressed in white. I mean, she looked like an angel. And I just stood over and I said, Mom, you are my hero. Everything I am, everything I hope to be was because of you. You loved me so much. You gave me a life. You're the only one that ever believed in me. How did I repay her? By getting drunk, by getting high, by getting stupid, by hanging out with losers? For what? All she ever wanted to do was talk to me. Sorry, I couldn't keep my promise. You probably don't remember, but I was really serious about building that gorgeous house with a big yard. I don't have to, it's not your business. I don't have to tell you everything. I hope I know. We go days without having a meaningful conversation. And I used to miss you so much when that happened. But it never seemed like you missed me. You're a hypocrite. You're a conformist. You're a liar. I opened up to you and you judged me. You're an asshole. You're an asshole. I would say, I wish you could know how sorry I am. Feel my heart, Jonas. 
They think it's broken. It's too late. What's done is done. No. There's nothing I can do, Bojack. I'm not real. None of this is. So what do I do now? Bojack, it doesn't matter. was all empty. I'd always think of Jenny. Why are you crying, Lane? Because you deleted yourself from everyone's memory? <laughs> but Lane, isn't that what you wanted all along? Dude, I'm worried about you. Yeah, I'm worried about me too. Alcohol is cool, but have you ever had someone care about you? Me neither. Pass the bottle. Did you make 
laugh. He doesn't make me cry. I think that just that flicked a switch in me where I was like, okay, fuck you. Watch this. Fuck. I think I miss my wife. I can't see anything that I don't like about you. But you right will. Now, I can't. But you will. I feel weird. Really weird. I don't really feel anything anymore. It's like a haunted house. Only I'm the ghost. Dude, I'm worried about you. Yeah, I'm worried about me too. I mean, with you, what's going on with you? What do you mean? You know what I mean. I know you. I know you better than anyone. This isn't you. You're just a bitch. Correct. You're, you're honestly, and that, that's not me trying to be some after school special shit. Mm -hmm. You really are a bitch. Real men ain't doing it. Real Every drug on the planet and hiding it and lying. And I don't like being around you because I feel bad. You make me feel bad. You know what? I think you're a fucking faggot just like you.